to be euthanized after a man was attacked inside a cabin in Gatlinburg. But neighbors say even though that bear is gone, they still don't feel safe. As Sam Luther shows us, people living nearby say a threat is still lurking in the woods. A family walking to their car. <laughs> quickly met by a bear jumping out of the open window and into the woods. It happened just five minutes after they arrived to their cabin on Saturday. They believe it was the open windows and the milkshake in the back seat that brought the bear in. Apparently, the milkshake did bring the bears to the yard. And bears kept coming back. Raven Sartain snapped these pictures in the days after of multiple bears coming as close as their front door. They're not scared of us, so <clears throat> that kind of worries me, yeah. A heightened fear after knowing that a bear got into a cabin in the same area and injured a man late at night. Now, this family from Alabama having their own encounter. We uh, come nose to nose with a, with a bear. Now they're keeping the windows up and doors locked, fearful to go outside. They're using the buddy system, making sure nobody is out alone. We're definitely more scared of them than they are of us. In Gatlinburg, Sam Luther, WVLT News. Just more proof. You got to use common sense. You got to be vigilant when you're anywhere near bear country and really in East Tennessee. That's a whole lot of East Tennessee, not just the park. Folks from uh, an insurance group that we talked to in Gatlinburg say if a bear does damage your car or your home, you would typically be covered under your standard comprehensive policy, even if you did leave the windows open. Well, back to that bear attack over the weekend. TWRA says the animal broke into a locked cabin and seriously hurt a guest who was staying inside. Officials trapped and euthanized the bear they believe to be responsible. They're now waiting on DNA results to confirm their suspicions. In this case, TWRA says the bear was clearly conditioned to look for human food. This isn't the first time that this bear has been inside a home. Uh, as far as the first time it's been inside that one or not, we're not sure yet, but it has obviously been inside a home before um, for it to be willing to come in and do what it did in the middle of the night. So it's learned this behavior over a period of time, and it's uh, likely due to uh, the actions of irresponsible people that stayed there before. The best way to stay safe and also help keep bears safe is to make sure that they can't get into garbage, they can't get into bird seed, pet food or any food you may have in your unlocked car. You ever wondered how wildlife agents decide whether it's time to relocate a bear or actually euthanize a bear? It's not a decision they take lightly. They actually have this chart. It helps guide them to the appropriate decision. The chart, the red on the right, all of those involve bears having contacts with humans. When that happens, does not end well for the bear. That's why you have to take some responsibility. You can see it in the As Seen On section of the WVLT News app if you'd like a closer look.